Okay, welcome back to another video. Today, I know, I know it's been a little bit of a break since the last one, but I'll show you why at the end of this video. I'll just show you what I've been working on, the main thing. But uh, before we get into this, if you do like 3D modeling and virtual tuning, which I haven't done in a while, but I'll definitely be getting back onto it, then please consider subscribing. Um, just, you know, maybe it's enjoyment for you, hopefully. We'll just get into this video, shall we? So, last video we got the basic outline of the Miata done. It's a bit sharp here, but we can fix that out. Fix that later. And this is going to be a low poly car, as it's kind of easily be able to tell. So we're going to 3, and then wireframe. I know I said I didn't like this, and I, and I realized that after I was editing the video, but it is kind of useful. And you might want to use it. No, you are going to have to use it. To just get all the lines looking like a Miata. If we go to the front, it's looking like a Miata. If we go here, you can see that the lines are rounded. And for some reason, even though it's right on like three, it's still wrong on the back. That's the thing with these blueprints, you can't exactly trust them. But to get that rounded edge bit, what we're going to do is we're going to control and click so if we click here you can see and then if we click here it's just going to select the two but if we just click here then click control and click on this line like holding control while we click it's going to select the quickest path between them and then control b to bevel the edges which is what we're going to use and you see how it's like beveling the wind screen there that can be fine but here it looks pretty bad so i'm just going to shift click and that's going to this isn't working. All right, that's fine. I mean, suppose we could just grab this vertex and loop cut this side. Control R to loop cut, and just round it off a little bit like that. That looks better. So I think it's pretty much time to get the details going. Yep. Maybe, well, I think the Miata's are actually a bit more rounded like that. We'll say that's right. So we'll start the front. That's not the front, that's the back. There we go. So you can see we've got these pop-up headlights. We've got a bit of a bonnet bulge. We've got a little vent here. If we start with the vent, so you can see, we just go back into orthographic view for this one bit. So we can see that it's starts about midway through this one and ends about at this one let's see yeah ends about there so if you want you can just add another loop cut there i did want to reduce the amount of loop cuts but sometimes you got to use them and then if we go like this that's looking all right okay so then we're gonna grab this and this I think that was it. Uh, maybe bring this up. That's easily fixable. You can see it's kind of a little bit funky. You can just bring that back like this. Click shift or shift select to select multiple vertices or faces sorry and also do it with vertices and all the other good stuff inset i to inset e to extrude but we're subtracting here and then y to extrude it along the y plane you're going to want to delete these faces here which we should have done on the inset but it's fine easily fixed shift to try and select both faces but then you just press delete on your keyboard then you can see here that we're going to want to select these lines and just bring them along. This is why you have clipping on and this is why you do it before. This is why you saw the lines before, but it's fine. Easily fixed. And there's a little happy smile that the Miata has. Okay, if we go back to the front. So we've got these lights here, like fog lights or something. Which, that, that is Discord that I need to mute. There we go. Muted. Alright. So, okay. So these lines actually are a little bit too big. 
because the lights are quite thin. So if we just drag it here, that should be good enough. Then we just get a loop cut going. I have no idea which is the front. Okay, that's fine. And then just a little loop cut here. All right, we got one. One on your numpad, by the way. Then, is that the front face? Of course it's not. That's the front face, all right. So, grab this vertice. Bring it down a little bit. This vertex across. See, is that the back? No, it's the front. That makes me happy. Is that the back or is it the front? <laughs> no idea. It's the front. Oh, legendary. See how it's not really affect these faces all that much, which is what we want. Now, it is low poly, so, you know, they are going to be low poly lights. If we just inset them a little bit, that's looking all right. Then we're going to top view. And we're going to want to find out where the flat, fl <laughs> what are they called? Flappy, no. Pop up and down headlights. There we go. A little bit of donut media reference going in for you. All right, so just bring that along, bring it down. This is affecting the geometry a lot, look, right? So just be wary because see what it's going to do when you move it. Don't want that. And those lights look way too far. It kind of looks like an, uh, an FCRX7 if these were the pop ups. That's pretty cool. Right. Just, you know, you can loop cut, obviously. That's the answer to every problem on this planet is loop cut. Apart from the current problem. Can't loop cut that. Oh, we got a little bit of a team's reaction going on. Let's just cross that off. Ugh, seven. Please be the top one. Nice. See, this is affecting the geometry. No, it's not. Oh, that's glorious. Just shape them into general light shapes for the MX-5 because it'll look good. Like, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, yeah, so you just want to extrude them up with E. And then I'm going to grab this edge here and bring it down. Oh, it's looking happy. Oh, it's looking like an MX-5. See, these are the happy times that you get. You just get happy when it starts to look like what you've always been dreaming it to look like. It's looking like an MX-5. That's pretty cool. I did not expect that. Not going to lie. Although I've been practicing a little bit, so I've got a little bit there. It's looking like an MX-5. That's cool. All right, that makes me happy. Okay, then we've got that little bonnet bulge that we're going to want to get sorted. So if we just do... I know this is too big, but it's low poly. I know that sounds like an excuse, but seriously, it's low poly. It's really... It, it doesn't really matter. Well, we've got a little FCRX7 MX5 going on. <laughs> All right. That looks like an FCRX7 so much, but I mean, it's fine. It, it's, it looks like an MX-5, that's all that matters. So we're going to want to get the windscreen put in. Then this is what I was talking about. Delete this face, you see there. Then grab this edge and just drag it in. And because we've got clipping on, it's all good. Now you will notice that it's a little bit dodgy because we're going to... We're probably not going to do see-through windows for these, so it doesn't really matter, but if you were, it would matter a little bit. Okay, maybe it's a convertible FC. I don't know. There we go, we've got a little side window. Wow, it looks like an FC so much. It's fine. Come here, inset that, just to get the inside window to give it that illusion. Grab this edge, bring it in. All right, that's looking not too shabby, man. Uh, control here and just do just E, then extrude along the Y axis, and then just do that. And then 
looks like it's inside a little bit. Alright. It, it looks like an MX-5. Just not a lot. It's fine. It probably needs to be more round, to be honest. But it'll do. Control 1 to get the rear view up. Wireframe, okay. I know what the rear lights of an MX-5 look like. It's pretty easy. I could probably do it like this, to be fair. And it probably won't turn out anything like a rear view for an MX-5. So, we're going to get one up. Just, these are just for references. Of, uh, why was I looking up the rear of a Vauxhall Astra? Yeah, okay. That's pretty nice. That's a nice example. So it kind of comes on to the side, which we can do easily. In fact, you know what we could do? Grab this, get proportional editing on, and it's just going to round out the back a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a little bit longer now, if we go into three. It's just a touch longer, but it looks better. Alright, so, how far up is it from the bumper? It's, it's like middle of the car kind of thing. So let's just grab this loop cut, then we'll grab a loop cut up here, and then we'll go boink, boink, boink. See, it's not rounded, so this is going to make it look even more like an FCRX7. Yeah, it needs to be rounded, I think. That's kind of what we've gathered from that. Whoops, turn proportional editing off with O. You can use O. <laughs> this isn't looking how I wanted it to look. See, this, that's the issue. It's kind of hard to do circles or rounded edges in low poly. Like, that's as good as you're gonna get. And I, and I can tell you, that does not look like an MX-5 light. But maybe once we get these circles in and get that registration plate area, it might look a bit better. We'll just have to find out, won't we? How about we're making a generic Roadster that resembles an MX-5 a little bit and a little bit of an FCRX-7. That's what I like. See, that, that actually, that kind of worked. I didn't want that to work, but it worked. Control B to bevel and just select all the edges. All right. So, vertex select with one on the row of numbers above your thing, above your keyboard. And it's a rectangle. Uh, yeah. So, we're just going to grab this vertex, move it along, grab this vertex, move it along. So it's about straight, it doesn't have to be exact, and move it here to, this is going to look like an MX-5, I can already tell. A, it's looking like an MX-5. It kind of does look like an MX-5, to be fair, like, I mean, I'd more think of it an of a RX-7, but, it's not my fault. <laughs> no, it is. There is an easy way we can fix it, that will probably be in the next episode, though. Since, you know, this episode's already getting kind of lengthy. And I do want to show you something else. So this is just a quick thing for the R, uh, the RX-5, I guess we can call it. E to extrude. Shift to select multiple faces. Control click to find the quickest path between two faces. I to insert, which is that. Um... Now, if you want to extrude along a certain phase, you can just click that, and then click Z if you want to extrude along Z axis. Um, that's all you really need to know. Control B to bevel, which will bevel the edges like that. Control S to save. Now let's get on to my project. So you see, it's called the game. The game's not actually going to be called that, but yeah, I've just revealed it. I'm working on a game. Um, following a little tutorial on cars, free up story, I've already got enough, it's fine. So if we go into images, I'll show you what I've been working on. So that's not my model, the realistic one's not my model. But this is, let me find a better image. This was the first render I did, the first car as well that I actually made on Blender fully. Then we go to 
um, this render. But yeah, I've been working a lot on these isometric scenes. And I only really started to do them in isometric at this point. Or oh, like this point. See, this is quite a cool little scene. Porsche. All that good stuff. But yeah, this is kind of what I've been working on. That's why the uploads have been kind of slow. You know? I'm just wanting to get this game done. I did record a video for this. I don't know if I'll publish it, but here's the finished product. It's kind of just messing around, you know? I just did a Chevy pickup truck thing. I don't know where it is. It's probably in the file somewhere. I'm going to pin that to quick access so I can just get to it whenever I want. Driving theory. Yeah, there we go. There's a Chevy pickup I did. Made some grass in like a minute. It's really easy if you want a tutorial. I just figured it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's really it. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, do all that good stuff. If you want to see any of these good things, just let me know and I'll put some up. Maybe, maybe I'll put this Lord and one up. But apart from that, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll get the car coloured next time. Maybe get a little nice interior done. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.